Hello, we're going to talk today about how you can effectively use pre-made topo maps in Backcountry Navigator on your Android phone or tablet. Uh, many people ask us, so how instead of downloading selected areas can I just get a map of a state or of a country or a province or a region? So let's take a look of, about one way you can do that using maps from Open Android Map. First of all, we're going to go here to uh, Layers menu up here above, and we look at some of the options you have for maps, uh, maps that you're previewing, maps that you've saved. But there's also an option here called uh, Pre-built Maps. And if you've been curious about what those maps are and where you get them, you can click on this icon and see some links and how you can learn a little bit more about that. In this case, using maps from openandromaps.org are maps that are based on OpenStreetMap data. They do have contour lines uh, measured in meters. And uh, they're, they're very good to use, work at multiple resolutions, and don't take up a lot of space compared to uh, some of the maps you've already been using. So let Let's go here first where it asks us to click to install a theme and that will take us in your mobile browser to open Android Maps on the web and one of the first things you'll notice is that you have an option of, of multiple themes. Now if you find these maps or these themes useful you'll definitely want to come back to this this website and donate to keep the project going. It is a community project and it's been a great benefit for all of us that are using Backcountry Navigator to have maps like this available. So here we're choosing the Elevate 3 theme and we could use look at 240 DPI or 320 DPI or 480 DPI based on what our device is. In this case I'm going to look at the SVG theme which should be able to scale to multiple resolutions. And as you look at this, you notice there's a, a button here to install this theme on Backcountry Navigator. As you do that, you can start downloading it. It doesn't take very long to download. And then once you've done that, it's going to give you a choice to choose one of the themes that you've installed if you've installed multiple ones. In this case, since we we have the Elevate SVG theme, and that's what we've just downloaded and want to use, we're going to choose that from this folder. It'll give you an option to customize this theme, but since we haven't loaded any maps yet, it, it doesn't quite have all that information of how, what you can customize yet. So we'll come back to that. I'll back up out of here, and we'll go on to the part about installing the actual maps. So again we go to the layers menu, we choose what's this next to pre-built maps and we're going to follow the second link on this page where we can go to find a download. And when you go to the Open Android Maps site you can see one of the options in the menu here is downloads and you can download by country or region uh, in this case, in this example, I'm looking for something in South America or Middle America. And one of these choices here is Galapagos Island. Choosing something something small in this case uh, so we can get the example running faster. So you notice if you open this plus sign next to that download, one of the options here is install on Backcountry Navigator. So that's what you want to choose tells you what you're about to download and uh, it won't actually start downloading it until you push the install button and in the, it'll keep downloading that and at the conclusion of the download the button here will change to view and you can push that and see the map inside Backcountry Navigator. Uh, at first we're only seeing ocean here so let's Let's zoom out a little bit and we can see some islands. We can scroll over to see these islands and zoom in on them 
and basically we, now we have a pre-built topo map available on our Android device available for offline navigation with Backcountry Navigator. If you want to customize the theme and just control basically what kind of points of interest are shown or what theme sub theme you might use with Elevate, we're going uh, to go back to the layers menu and you can see here that the theme you've chosen is Elevate SVG. You click on that link and now you have a bunch more options that you could potentially choose for what items are shown.